Hey everyone, and welcome back. You know we're always talking about productivity here, right? Like big sweeping changes we can make yeah. to really up our game, new systems and routines and all the latest apps. For sure. But what if I told you that the real key is in the little things? Interesting. The tiny tweaks that we often overlook. Okay. I like where this is going. Today we're going deep on how those seemingly insignificant optimizations mm -hmm. can actually lead to some really surprising results. All right. I'm all ears. And to help us illustrate this point, we've got a great story to unpack today. Awesome. About a developer and their newfound love for, well, saving time with a GIMP plugin. All right, GIMP. So we're talking open source image editing, right? Exactly. It's, it's kind of like... Powerful stuff. Yeah, like Photoshop's free and flexible cousin. Right, right. But sometimes all that flexibility can make it a little bit... <sighs> tricky to use. Yeah, a little tricky to use. Yeah, I've been there. So that's where plugins come in. They kind of bridge the gap, you know? Makes sense. Between having all that power and actually being able to, you know... Use it without pulling your hair out. Exactly. And this developer, they're so excited at their new plugin mm -hmm. because they claim it can save users, get this, three seconds or more every single time. Three seconds? I, I know, I know. It sounds kind of small, right? Yeah, at first glance, it doesn't seem like much. But think about it. That's three seconds every time you use it. Mm, okay. I see where you're going with this. And if you're using it multiple times a day, it starts to add up. Oh, absolutely. That's the beauty of compounding games, right? Exactly. And... The developer actually did the math. Oh, they did. They figured out that if someone uses the plugin 10 times a day, okay, they could save over three hours per year. Wow. That's a whole afternoon? Right. Imagine what you could do with an extra three hours. I could think of a few things. Me too. And they took it even further. They said with 42 downloads. 42 downloads? Yeah, 42 downloads. Their plugin has theoretically saved. Hang on. Let me guess. Over 15 days of working time. Wow, 15 days. Collectively, for graphic editors around the world. That's a bold claim. It is, right. <laughs> and it does depend on everyone actually using the plugin consistently. Yeah, that's a big assumption. But it really got me thinking. <sighs> how do we actually measure the impact of these small efficiencies? That's a really good question. It's not as straightforward as just counting downloads, is it? Right. We need to consider the bigger picture. The ripple effect. Exactly. Maybe this plugin inspires a whole wave of time-saving innovations in the GIMP community. Right. I mean, other developers might see this and think, hey, I can do that too. And maybe even users start looking at their own workflows differently. Yeah, start thinking about how they can optimize those little things. Exactly. And that brings me to something I've been wondering. Sure. Have you come across any of these hidden efficiencies in your own work? Oh, absolutely. For me, it's all about automation. Automation, I love it. Things like, uh, you know, using text expansion for phrases I type all the time or setting up keyboard shortcuts for anything that takes multiple steps. Oh, yeah. Keyboard shortcuts are a lifesaver. They really are. Those little things add up so quickly. It's amazing how much time you can save. Right. It's like finding free time you didn't even know you had. It's like magic. So to wrap things up today, I want to leave everyone with a little challenge. A challenge. I'm intrigued. Think about your own routine. What's one small thing, one tiny little habit okay. that you could tweak to save yourself a few seconds here and there? Hmm, like it. It might not seem like much in the moment. True. But trust me, those seconds add up. To minutes, to hours. To days, even. You're talking about reclaiming serious time. Exactly. Time that you can spend on the things that truly matter. The things that bring you joy, that move you forward. Exactly. So yeah. go out there, find those little efficiencies, and start reclaiming your time. It's waiting for you. It really is. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you next time for another Deep Dive. See you then. Bye.